Hi everybody, it's me, Jenny. Welcome back to Craft Creations. So today we are gonna continue to make things to add on to the gift. So um, I told you we are going to make one of these lists because I don't exactly know how we're gonna do it. That will be the next video. We'll try to start adding some of these things on. So I had said, for example, we can maybe put like, you know, something like this and you'll understand when it's put together, why <laughs> if that makes any sense, or we can even do it down here. You just don't want to put it in front where, you know, they have to open it and then they're going to, you know, wreck something you did. So we're going to make this. And then I thought for what this is going to be on, I made some of these Scrabble pieces. Now I have to say this was the, one of the greatest gifts I had gotten from Denise Becker in that big, huge birthday Halloween package that she sent me. Um, they're Scrabble pieces for crafts. So I took some of the paper and I put them on the pieces and then I thought we can add them in certain spots. And it would also add more of the color from the paper pack or paper collection to the um, advent page, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So with all that said, <laughs> I made <coughs> excuse me, a bunch of them before I came on. So let's just make these real quick because these really are super quick to make, but they are messy. I will be very honest and tell you that. Let me actually get my paper towel and squirt some water on it. Get ready. Sorry I didn't do that beforehand. All right, we've got just water. Um, and that's just to, honestly to wipe off the glue <laughs> that's going to get all over the place. Okay, so all I did for this was I took my paper, um, you know what, let's take a, here, let's take this one and we'll do the edge. So what I did was I took my paper, I put the, the part that I wanted to go on here and then I would just, here, let me see if I could find, here it is. Okay. So say if I wanted the mint, right? So I would just put it on. Now that's not going to fit. So we're going to move it over, but pretend it's the mint. <laughs> and then I just push down on the piece like so. See how it's making that crease all around? So I would push down on every side and then when you pull it up, you can see the square. So you obviously don't want to cut on the square because you want to leave a little bit so it will fold over. So you just cut around it and then voila, you have what you want to cut out. So then all you do, let me move the paper. And again, we're still working with the um, Country Christmas collection that Sandy designed. Um, so all I did was take my, um, what is this? Glossy accent. This is an old bottle. See how yellow it is, Ugh, but it works. So, you know, I'm not throwing it away, even though it's discolored because that's just a waste to me. So you put a little bit on the, well, if you're like me, you put a lot on and then you want to get it to where you want the picture, right? And then all you're going to do is really just kind of press it down so that it's going to glue and then press the sides over and hold it down a little. And then obviously if you need a little bit more glue, you can go back. If you need to move it up a little, you can do that. I didn't get this very well, so sorry. I'm not used to having to do this and not be right over it. And I don't want to stick my big fat head <laughs> in the way. So there you go. So then you can just kind of grab it and then you just hold it down for a few minutes. And honestly, that's all you do. Now, if you want to wrap the whole thing, that's totally fine. You know, it's, it'll be yours and it'll be your preference to what you want to do. Um, but I didn't think it was necessary because where I'm probably placing these, it's going to have a bunch of stuff around it. Um, maybe even flowers. So you're really not going to see, um, all that much. So like, say if, for example, these are whatever, and then you just kind of put it on or next to like the rest of it isn't going to matter is basically what I'm saying. So I made all of these and then I realized that I didn't really have much color. So I wanted to make a few more. So here I put in like the darker green, the yellows, um, and then these, so let's make one more. Um, and then those two I can just do very quickly off camera. Um, but I definitely wanted to get the yellow. Um, but make sure you also get your edges really good with the um, 
the glue. And you don't have to use accent, glossy accent. You can use any glue you want to use, to be quite honest. Really, you know, totally your preference and what you want to do. Um, but for me, I figured I, I'm not going to use that, like, to do a accent just because it's so discolored and yucky. Um, but it's a great glue. <laughs> so I figured I'll just use it as glue because that part you don't really see. Um, and then like, say if you have these, you can also just cut that off. You don't even have to worry about like making yourself go crazy. You can just kind of snip it like so, so that it'll go down and it'll glue on nicely actually. So let's just do that to the other side too. I'm kind of glad this happened. Um, just so that you can see. And again, if you want that perfect, um, you know, that perfect, perfect look, because for you, you're going to see it. Well, then obviously you cut it or glue it and cover the whole thing. You know, again, it's your preference, what you want to do, how you want it to look. So now I have the green stocking, which I love. I have the peppermint, the candy. This one I loved, but I was so mad that I didn't get the whole thing. So I cut out another one. And then I didn't have a candy cane. So I did it with the yellow and the green one because I thought that would be perfect. So these are just some Scrabble pieces that I am putting together for the decoration part of it. And I thought with using the collection, it was perfect. Um, so yeah, so I will finish that, the two of them off camera cause it's super quick to do. And I, I'll just do that later, but I really want to get into making this. So this is a die. I know whenever I use a die guys, you are always asking me, I get a million, not a million, but I get quite a few emails or comments. So for now on, what I'll do is I will put the die that I used and where I got it. I don't know if I can give you a link, but I can at least tell you where I got it. So all that information will be in the description bar below. Um, so yeah, so this is the die, this one right here that I used. Now I'm going to be very honest. This piece came with it and for the life of me, and if any of you have this die and you know what this is for, could you tell me? Because I looked in the pictures and the description and I don't, it doesn't say. And the way that they designed it, you really can't tell where this goes. So I didn't use it, but this is how it cuts out. I did cut it out in case you wanted to see it, but it just doesn't make any sense to me. So we're going to use the rest of it, which is this and this. So basically what I did, the main part of the die, I ran it through twice. So I ran it through the first time. Well, it actually goes, oh, sorry. It actually goes like this. So when you pull it out, this is what you get. Okay, so that's that one. And then the second time I did it, I did it on um, a, like a, not a plain piece, but a piece that didn't have any pretties on it. Um, ran that through and got this whole piece. But then, oh, you know, I knew I was missing something. Where, duh, they're right here. <laughs> so then they also come so that all the pieces are this, 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 and then all of these. So these don't cut out, they cut into. So I wanted to show you how I did it because after you cut the main piece, which is this one, right? Then you take, how I did it is you take, you can take them and just put them right into this piece. But the problem for I found is that if you have a um, cardstock that has a picture on it, it's very hard to see the imprint of the words. So what I did is I cut it out twice. I cut it once with the picture and then once without a picture. Okay, just so you understand the reasoning behind it. So then what I did was I took my um, tacky tape or whatever kind of tape, it's the tape meant for this. I put down my dies where I wanted them. I taped them and then I ran it through again. So just so you know, I just ran this right through again. And now I will take the tape off and hopefully I don't screw this up <laughs> and just be careful. Cause even though it's low tack, it's still got a tack to it. All right, so then these will come up, hopefully without ripping the paper. Yay, it did. Uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> sorry. So here are those, and then this is basically what you get. So it says, Dear Santa, Naughty, Nice, and there's two check marks, um, and Santa's List. Now, I probably should have cut them apart and put Santa's List, Dear Santa, whatever, but I didn't do that because I'm not using the whole thing. I'm gonna wind up cutting this, and I'll, show you why. So obviously I don't want to hide all of this. I just want it to be so that you can see, um, 
the word. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut it out right above the words and then right below the words. And the reason why I'm doing this, like moving it is because there's like an embossing that goes around it. It's really cool. Um, so I want to try to get as little, but as much, if that makes any sense. So this is going to go right above that cut. And then this goes right in it. Like, so, right. Did I do that wrong? I think I did that wrong. All right. Sorry guys. Let me just pull it near me real quick. I think I did this wrong. <laughs> what else is new? Did I do this backwards? Oh, I'm such a dingbat. I did. I think I did it upside down. So does that mean this is upside down? Oh gosh, I may have to do this again. <laughs> oh no, 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 I did it right. I was gonna say, I thought I had it right because I checked it a million times. Sorry, I was putting it together. So it goes this way. So now when I glue this on, you'll still see all the pretties, but then you'll have the list too, if that makes any sense. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna glue this bad boy on right now. Um, and again, if you wanna use tape and not glue, that's totally up to you. It is your call. Um, just make sure that you line it up, you know, as best you can. Um, so before you like press down and get it stuck, you just make sure that it's where you want it. So that is where I want it. And now you get the both, the best of both worlds. So you will have the pretty, but then you'll also be able to see what it says. So that's one of the reasons why I like it. And then, um, it comes with the feather, which I think is so super cool. Um, so you could do it. I could, well, I guess it'd be this way would be like the pen part. So I'm going to put that there. Then, oh, you know, that's what I, oh no, I did. Okay. I was going to say, wait a minute. I, I forgot something. So this one is going to go here and it has like these little lines and you really have to kind of look to see them. So I'm going to put that one there. And then I have the other one over here. Sorry about that. Okay. And then this one I'm going to glue underneath. I don't know why, but that's kind of how it shows it in the picture. Um, so I'm going to put that one right about there. Make sure that I don't glue that. Okay. And then we'll do the feather. So I don't glue this whole thing, but I do try to put glue on most of it. Um, cause I do want it to kind of stick up a little, not much, but now I don't want it to be over every word. So there we go. So we're going to glue that on. I just think that looks so stinking cute. All right. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to glue it and we're just going to change it around because I did two green and then two like with different colors. Um, it's just kind of the way it cut out. So I just went with it. <laughs> And when it's all put together, you, you basically kind of can see and tell what it's for. And then this one goes on top like that one. So we'll glue underneath here and then stick this on. And then I love the, like the little tassel that they have for it. I just think it's so cute. So this is the little tassel. Um, let me pull it up so you could see. I hope you could see. I hope I'm in frame. So it's little, but it's cute. Um, just make sure you put enough glue, but obviously not too much glue. You guys know the deal. You're all crafters. <laughs> I don't have to say this to you. And then you, the way they have it is it's just kind of hanging from there. So look at how cute that is, right? So now we have, and the reason why I'm doing this too, just so you know, is I want it to be, I don't want it to be masculine, like the whole thing, but I want it to be half and half because there are two men and three women who live in the house. So, um, you know, we want a little bit for everybody. So I, that is what I did guys. I, um, yeah. And it's, it's obviously super quick to make. It is not that difficult at all. You know, a little time consuming cause you have to put a few things together. And I do suggest that if you do have this die, um, cut these apart. Um, the reason why I didn't is I didn't want to lose the pieces, but now that I've put them together twice, I really should have probably, um, cut them apart and, and did them correctly. And if, again, anybody has this die, 
um, or knows what this is for, please let me know. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now these two pieces I don't need, so I'm just going to get rid of those. Oh, um, and yeah, so those are the two fun things that we're making for our gift to put on the gift to decorate it, if you want to say. Um, and just to show you, um, okay, so here's where I, I cut this out. I thought maybe it went here, right? Because in the picture that they show on their website, there's like this, just this pink thing, but it doesn't have this curve and I don't know, just, and it looked a lot skinnier than this. So I don't know where this goes. I don't know if it goes here, if it goes here, if you turn it around and it goes this way, none of it makes sense to me. None of it looks right. <laughs> <laughs> so again, I, I don't know where this is supposed to go. So I just left it off. But again, if any of you know, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and why, you know, I'm sitting here, let's just do one more. Let's do, uh, this one. So I'm just going to put some more Maj Paj, Maj Paj. This is not Maj Paj. Don't listen to me again. Don't do as I do, or don't do as I say, do as I do. I don't know what the hell I was saying. I'm trying to say, but yeah, you know that. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so that's it guys. So for today, that's what we have. But I promise you at the end, or at least I hope, um, you will really like it. And when I come back on now tomorrow, don't forget to go watch Sandy because Sandy's turn is tomorrow. And then the following day, I will be back with another one. And with the other one, I think what I might do is start to put it together so you understand like what we're doing. And then from there on, we can just decorate it and have some fun and, you know, just make it what we're going to make it, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, so if that's what, you, if you guys want to see it, then let, you know, tell me, I won't wait until the end. Um, we'll just kind of put it together the next video and then we'll start decorating it. So you guys can see this way. If you do have it, you can make one. If you don't have it, you can still, like I said, guys, there are so many videos out there to do so many different things. I am sure that there is a video that you can do this and not need to die for. So, um, but if you are interested and want to know what it is, I will leave that information in the description bar below. Okay. So that's it guys. I hope you like everything. Let me know what you think down below. You guys know, I love hearing from you. Um, if you want to be in the giveaway, make sure to follow the rules. Again, all of that information um, is in the description bar below with the rest of the information. So everything you need to know will be down there. So we have our little gingies. We have our bag. We have all kinds of cute stuff. We have our um, Scrabble word fun things. We have this. We have um, our advent calendar. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're good. We're, we're on a roll guys. <laughs> so again, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, I'm having so much fun with this series. I can't wait to see what else, um, Sandy is making. She's just incredible with what she's been creating. So, all right, hopefully I will see you not tomorrow, but the day after, but make sure you're following both me and Sandy and check out, um, craft stash. Make sure you are, um, subscribe to their YouTube as well. Okay. So leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed. I would really appreciate it guys. If you share my videos, I cannot tell you how much that would mean to me. And yeah, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.